Hey guys, how's it going and welcome back. Today we're going to be talking about why Merida, Mexico is so awesome. Why is it such an awesome place to live? Um, the reason I'm making this episode is because, well, I wanted to make a video on Merida. Um, this, um, I, could, I couldn't really find the subject, um, you know, off the top of my head. Um, I had one thing I wanted to do, which was eat a lot of candy, because I'm uh, not, sure, not sure if you guys remember, you know, but my girlfriend got me a piñata for my birthday, um, and um, I got a lot of candy, so it's all sitting in the fridge waiting for me to eat it off for an episode, but I just didn't, I wasn't in the mood to eat a lot of candy this morning, plus I had some errands to run, so I was like, alright, you know, let's see if we can kill two birds with one stone, so I'm just out here just uh, doing a walking and talking, and I figured... Might as well just start talking about all the reasons I love living out here. Why it's so awesome to live out here. Because, you know, I just got back from my trip to Cuba. And um, it made me realize a lot of things. And it made me feel, you know, very uh, grateful and very happy, you know, to, to be here. Um, you know, I was saying it um, in a kind of kidding way that when I got here, um, I went straight to kiss the ground. You know what I mean? Like, I kissed the ground as soon as I got back to Mexico and um and all that stuff and um no i did not kiss the ground all right um that's not why I, I did not do that you know but i was pretty close i was pretty close and it was only because i was just so happy and grateful that i made it you know back out here and um yeah it was it's, it's just a great thing everything about being out here so it's early in the morning and this guy they're just setting up everybody's setting up to do whatever it is they're doing out here and um you know just another reason why <laughs> well, I love it out here so much. So, yeah, sorry. Just uh, came out of a, a doorway and uh, started walking in front of me. It's a, it's a little weird. You know, this is not as easy as it, as it seems, you know? Um, a lot of times it's very hard uh, to, to film and talk and walk, and I, I get it. Um, but anyways, this is not Monday Motivation. We're just talking about the reasons why I love Medina, Mexico. And I know we're already two minutes in, plus two and a half minutes in, and I still haven't even given you a reason. Well, the thing is that I was gonna like make a little list or, you know, just think about a few things before I started doing this video, but I was like, you know, there's just so many freaking things that I love about here, about living out here. So I think this video will be pretty easy to make off the top of my head. And you know, there's like a million reasons why I love living out here. You know, number one, freedom liberty you know i talk about that all the time but you know it's just the fact that i'm out here barely with any id because i only i only use my passport at you know what i mean like whenever i have to do any kind of transaction that has to do with the u.s or a u.s bank how's that but other other than that i've never ever 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 really ever had to use any kind of id out here period end of story the end and um that's like a major thing for me you know i don't you know, I'm all about privacy, I'm all about security, I'm all about, you know, stay the fuck out of my business. So, I love that. I love that in Mexico you don't need any of that. And then once you do um, eventually need that kind of stuff, you know, in order to get a license to drive a car, in order to, you know, just do some basic things here in uh, Mexico, it's also not a big freaking deal. It's not like... Um, like it is in the states where or in cuba where it's like this insane amount of control with um with everything and they control you through certain passageways you know like uh government licensing government control um you know your your bank account um taxes all this stuff that that's again there's another thing about mexico is awesome you know so far so far um the fact that the whole banking situation is kind of optional you know most people here have their own bank Right now, Mexico is um, trying to do their best in order to get everybody a bank account, to get everybody online, to get everybody, you know, into the system. But again, they're just barely, they're just barely starting that out. They're just barely getting that program off the ground. It's gonna be a while, all right? And um, now they got competition, you know, which is, you know, Bitcoin and, and all this other crypto stuff and all the shit that I talk about on my channel. So, you know, th that's an awesome thing out here, too. You know, the fact that, um, you know, there's no control like that. There's no um, government is uh, truly out of your business. And, um, you know, this, with that being said, you know, it's a lot of private entities, a lot of uh, a lot of uh, capitalism that happens out here. I know not everybody's a fan of capitalism, but I am. 
I'm a big fan of capitalism. I'm, a, I'm also a big liberal, you know? Um, I'm all about, you know, human rights and rights for everybody to do whatever they want and that whole deal. But more importantly than anything else, you know, um, yeah, I think capitalism is very, very important. And when you come out here, you see capitalism going full blast. Um, just like you go to a lot of places around the world. Um, and when you see, you know, out here the fact that you see, you know, capitalism working at, at full force, it encourages you as well because it's like, you know, and it, it, it's not that hard to open up a business or, or, or sell services or do whatever it is you want to do out here. Really, it's not that hard. So that's like another big, huge positive. Not just for the people, but for whoever wants to live out here. Once you become a citizen, which again, if you choose to do so, I'm, I'm in the process of doing so. Most people that want to move out here are doing that as well. Then all of a sudden, as soon as you, which by the way, becoming a citizen is not that hard in comparison to most other countries. It's actually pretty accessible for most people. And um, especially if you come from the US and that whole deal. But the point is that you know, once you become a Mexican citizen, then you have all of these you know, um, amazing benefits and rights um, that all Mexican citizens do. And it's awesome and it's amazing. You know, like there's so many, there's so many benefits that it's, um, look at this. There's so many benefits um, that I'm not gonna go through them all right here because that's not what this video is about. This video is just about how awesome it is to live out here in Mexico. I think I'm gonna be flipping the camera around a little more as I walk around so you guys can see more. I think, I'm, you know what, let's do that. The thing is that when I'm walking and, and showing you this, it's like I'm not really showing you, I don't think I'm showing you much, but let's try this for, okay, let's try this for a little bit. But, you know, again, you know, just going back to the capitalism aspect, you know, the fact that, you know, all over the place, you know, in fact, I'm glad I flipped the camera around just in time. You know, you, you see vendors, you see people selling stuff all over the place. And, you know, now they're starting to crack down with, uh, with like, um, you know, forcing them to either have a license or, or pay taxes or something like that um, if they want to be in certain areas. So if they want to be in like in a certain area, like, uh, um, like in the city center, then you would have to pay to be there. But if you want to just hang out here, you don't got to pay anything. You know what I mean? Like they can just sell whatever the fuck they want and they don't got to pay taxes. They don't got to pay a license. They don't got to pay anything. And I know a lot of you guys out there is like, oh my God, but what if I get sick? What am I going to do? It's like, if you get sick, you do like every like like everybody else around the world. You know, you go to the bathroom. That's it. You know, again, if you we get sick all the time by the food that we eat in the states, and again, what are these all these rules really do? Hold on, one here, one here, one here. Everybody's really friendly out here too. That's another major plus. You know, of being in this part of Mexico, but all of Mexico. But yeah, like I was saying, you know, like at the end of the day, we have all these rules and regulations and all this bullshit in the states. And uh, really for what? All right, see, look, I gotta, see, like everything is tight. Okay, I can make it through here, all right. I thought the guy was uh, getting stuff out of his truck. But see, I might, have, have, I might have had to have walked in the middle of the street, you see? But yeah, you know, like, um, I forgot what I was saying, I forgot what I was saying. But anyways. So yeah, let's uh, let's go on to the next subject. You know, the people are friendly. People are crazy friendly. And um, even though I just came from Cuba and the people are really friendly over there too, they are, they really are. They're friendlier out here. And that was another major take of uh, the, the trip. How friendly the people really are out here. Um, they really are. Like, I mean, just on, as I was walking, I've been, you know, many people say hi to me. I say hi back. Um, you know, it's just, normal thing you know some people just they do it because i have the camera but some people also do it just because uh you know they're actually really fucking nice and that's really it so you know that's also like a major plus about not just living in merida but definitely in mexico but but yeah for sure merida is one of the friendliest places there's a hotel behind me right there see so yeah, I'm just trying to see if I can show you more of the sights as I'm, uh, you know, walking around. I know you guys are already tired of seeing my face, so we're gonna just show you more of what I'm. My... But the thing is, is like as I'm walking, it's like I don't know. I don't see like this point of view as something that you guys might want to watch, but I think you do. You know what? L let's talk about it in the comments. Do you guys like this point of view more 
or seeing my face more. By the way, you're not gonna hurt my fucking feelings, right? I just wanna give you guys the best look. I guess it's like some sort of, uh, I guess government building or medical. I think it's like a medical thing. Not sure, I'm not gonna ask. I'm just gonna, just, just to show you, all right? I think it might be some sort of government um, thing. So yeah, look, that's another thing too. There are government programs here. There are social programs out here and all that good stuff. And, and most people stay away from them because they're very inefficient. They're very horrible. They're very, you know, all, all of the things that we complain about back in the States about our government programs, same thing. Here, let me show you a little store just randomly. Oh, there's nothing in there. I don't know if uh, they're out of business or they're starting business or they just haven't filled their coffers yet. But anywho, so, Oh, what was I saying? I forgot what I was saying. Uh. Oh, yeah. So, yeah, just like uh, leaving the comments, leaving the, in all that section what you guys think I should do with the camera angle. All right. If you want to see this angle or if you want to see this angle. All right. Again, this angle or this angle. But yeah, anyway, so the people out here are like crazy nice. They just really, really, really are. You know, for the most part, it's, um, you know, you're going to find all kinds of people no matter where you go. But here, like really, the people are really, really, really crazy nice. And um, it's uh, like another another level of awesome, you know, like for reals. You really get to appreciate it. So, all right, what else is awesome about here in Merida? Um, another thing about here in Merida is um, the fact that it's cheap. You know, I know I know this kind of goes without saying, but I, again, I know a lot. Of, I gotta I gotta keep in mind that you know I know there's a lot of people who watch my videos and they watch it probably the first time ever. I know a lot of you guys have you know seen a lot of my videos, but regardless, you know who knows? Maybe this is the first Mexico video that anyone out there is watching for the first time. But anyways, one of the major major components of living out here is how cheap it is. It is really, 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 really cheap and inexpensive. So, in comparison to a lot of other places, all right? It's, it's, uh, things are, I, I just noticed, I forgot, it's really early in the morning. It's like 10 in the morning. That's why most places are closed. I just realized that. So, since uh, it's still early and most places are still closed, things run a different time out here, too. That's very, very different. You know, things out here are just... They, um, again, look, this place is going to open at 3 p.m. Whenever they want. This is like a bike shop. It's not like the U.S. where it's like they have to open at this time every single day, no matter what. Blah, blah, blah. You know, that whole um, system. You know, out here, people just do whatever the fuck they want. They open when they want. They close when they want for the most part. Yeah, they have, uh, you know, it's, sometimes it is inconvenient. But for the most part, it doesn't really matter. Once you're out here living this life, it's like, whatever, man. Who gives a fuck? It just, yeah, it sucks that this ex this place is closed when you really want it. But for the most part, there's always a replacement or something like that. Um, but yeah, that is definitely very typical out here when it comes to um, the, you know, the hours of operation, you know? Um, so that's number one. That's, uh, that's another... But anyways, back to like the whole cheap thing, you know, the, the fact that this is one of the cheapest places to live um, in the world. And uh, for, I mean, that is of this high quality of, uh, of life, all right? Because that's like another major thing. There's a lot more cheaper places around the world, but they might not be as um, awesome as this place. You know what I mean? Like um, where, you know, you're going to have in the north of the city, you have all the first world um, wants that you want. You know, all the first world, um, all the first world, um, what you might call it, um, comforts are in the north. And you can, and then, and then again, there's like a 15 minute drive. And I just choose to live in this area. That's again, it feels like I'm in a colonial town. It feels like I'm in Cuba without communism and that whole deal. Is why I choose to live out here in this area. But again, you know, for being like uh, the cheapest, it's like a major plus because... Again, if you get all your comforts out here, but all, all the basic necessities are cheap, meaning that your rent is cheap. Again, my rent is 200. Um, my light bill is like 40 bucks. My light bill is like 20, 40 bucks a month. Um, again, my rent is like, um, you know, 200 a month. Um, food is extremely cheap. 
um, no matter what, if you want to choose to eat out, like there, delicious food as well. Or if you need things like glasses, you know, that's 25 bucks. That's the price you're going to see there. And um, that's again 20, you know, just just basic stuff, you know. So like, I can get new lenses on my glasses for 25 bucks. Try doing that in the states, and um, you know, so many other things like a bus ride is like 50 cents. Um, you know, just so many things. These are all like little stores out here. This is the the cops. More stores and stuff. So everybody's just getting ready for the day. Still early, early. Let's see, look, let me show you some food. See, turkey is like a major, major, major component to all the dishes out here. Turkey and pork. They ate a lot of turkey and pork. All right. And, um, yeah, so, yeah, back to the first person perspective. But, you know, again, just walking to the center of town, you know, to go pick up uh, some supplies that I need. Some I'm running some errands. It's uh, it's fun. It's a fun walk, you know. I take you guys with me and show you guys. And here's like a little newspaper stand. Yeah, you know what? I think I'm gonna. I don't think I need the votes. I think I'm gonna show you guys more of this angle and this view in a lot of videos, so that way you guys can see more of what I can see. Because, uh, and, you know, like even as I'm filming now, it's a little different. But yeah, you know, like um, there's not like a million things as to why this place is awesome. Like for reals. Look at that, you're just, you know, all kinds of random shops all over the place selling all kinds of stuff, you know, all kinds of people. Um, you know, another little quickie mart over there. Hopefully you guys can see. I know it's, uh, I'm under the shade here, but I think you guys can see. Oh, look, there's like some sort of smoke or fire over there. I wonder what that is. guess we're going to find out when we get there, huh? Very interesting. I wonder what happened out there. Hopefully you guys can see. Oh, we're, we're, we're gonna get there in a second. So I, these people, everyone here is just waiting for the bus. For the most part, everyone out here is just waiting for the bus. And that's what they're doing out here, just waiting for the bus. And the, there's all kinds of different buses and different routes and uh, I don't know what the hell they are. I don't know what the stops are, I don't know anything, but everyone out there sure does. Okay, so I guess, look, I guess all that white smoke was just a car again you know there's no government control here to tell you about the whole police yeah there's definitely a car i can smell it um you know that car was either burning gasoline or burning oil and there's no like um you know government official coming out here saying that you know he's uh, polluting the earth and making him not use his car and pay a fine and all these horrible things so you know, there's that. Again, the whole government control situation of that. So, there's less of that. All right, so, like, I got traffic up ahead. So, you see, sometimes I get traffic. This is the traffic I'm talking about. So, I got to, you know, I got to get to the street. Look at this guy. Just throws himself. <laughs> so, yeah, that is the dangerous thing about out here is um, the drivers. The drivers are very dangerous. They have the right of way, definitely. So if you get run over, it's your fault. You got no recourse for the most part. So you gotta be very, 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 very careful with the, with the people. Also, you know, with the people driving, just the drivers, all kinds of drivers, right? Don't be thinking that they're gonna stop for you like they do in the US, they don't. And um, then the, the, the walkways, for the most part, you know, they're clean, I mean, meaning they're always clean, but like, uh, you know, these, these are all taken care of pretty good. But in a lot of places, it's very hard to walk. The streets are all broken up, messed up. You know, we're in the center already, so you're not gonna see that here. But, you know, for sure, all right, let me cross. Let me get in the, avoid the sun as much as I can. But, you know, for the most part, you know, you're gonna see, you know, in a lot of places, the streets are all like messed up. And it's just hard to walk, it's fine. You know, I mean, you can make it, no problem, but, it's uh, very difficult um, for certain people out there if you're in a wheelchair or if you're, you know, just um, need a smooth road to get through. So, all right, now we're heading, getting closer to Ed Centro. You know, we're going, you know, we're literally in Ed Centro already, but we're now going deeper in. Look at this. And uh, yeah, so I mean, again, you know, the, the, all, all the things that you're looking at right now, these are, these are the things that I love. 
these are the things that I love about being out here and living out here, literally. So, just amazing. Everything you're seeing around you, like literally. I mean, it's hard to put into words. But, you know, that's why I'm trying to put it into video. And, um, you know, again, um, you know, it's funny because I don't have many words for this video. Um, there's a million things that I love about living out here. I haven't really expressed many of them, but you guys can get the gist of it. It's um, not for everybody. Everybody, you know, will, will want to live in the different places around the world. But for me, this place right here is paradise. Definitely paradise. And it's awesome. And it's amazing. And uh, as I've traveled, um, be, be, you know, as... As, you know, I, I've traveled many, many places, so for me, it's like um, I, I can already compare and contrast this place to a lot of other places. And um, especially, again, now coming from a different country with a different kind of government and that whole deal, it's like you really get to really appreciate this more. So, all right, now we're going to walk under the sun a little bit. Fuck it. You know, maybe let's see what, what kind of lighting comes out better here. Um, but yeah, see, look, people's just selling stuff there just fruits you know this is the the health store this is the the holistic medicine guy and so, you know so on and so forth so you know i'm already getting close to where i need to go so i'm gonna start ending it here all right so guys thanks again for watching today i hope you guys enjoyed today's video just uh, walking around i think i'm gonna be doing more of these so you guys can see even more um that's it you know thank you to all my patrons thank you to all, every single one of my helpers my contributors my my everybody i love you guys you guys are the best don't forget to please like please subscribe please share and i'll see you guys manana peace out love you guys